Greetings, Dennis Daniels here. Uh, this is Langflow and it is currently running. And when we are here, I'm going to import a new template. I'm going to use basic chat with prompt and history. That should give me a prompt template. We got an error down here. Uh, but no error shows up in the console. So uh, there's a number of instances where I've seen that. Uh, it's a little difficult to chase down errors if they don't show up in the console. But that being said, let's take a look at my template. And I'm going to use an example that's already been made. I want you to act as, a, as an expert on Langflow. Uh, the following is a friendly conversation. The AI is talking and provides a lot of uh, specific details from its context. The AI does not, it truthfully says it does not know. So the current comment now this is a this is nothing. This is only asking it to be an expert on Langflow. I haven't done anything else, so it's really not going to do much. But uh, again, let's um, oh check and save. Is that not working? Check and save. All right. Do we have an error? No. Do we have an, oh, okay, now it seems to be working and I'm going to use a GPT-4 and I've got a bunch of yellow signs here. So I hope that means it works. Um, what is Lang flow? Okay, failed to send on WebSocket still in connecting states. So what is in the error message? Nothing. We've got nothing in the errors here in the console. It's still thinking, but the console itself is doing nothing. So why? We got yellow, yellow, yellow. That should be, these should all be green. Why is it not max tokens? Okay, I'm gonna enter max tokens uh, 2000. For example, doesn't change it to green. I don't know why. Let's try again. Oh, it's still thinking, all right. So if I delete that, it's still thinking. Even if I stopped it, uh, I've got nothing in the executor chain. And it's still thinking. All right, so it looks like we have a we have a new problem. Hmm. Well, uh, clearly Langflow has some issues. It's validating, validating, validating. So all of these instances are validating, but the console shows nothing. So how, all right, uh, da, 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 da. how do I store my da, 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 da. Let's go up here. Um, how do I start Langflow with verbose? Debugging enabled because uh, clearly there's something wrong here. Let me see what my terminal has to say. Mm, performance. Yeah, that doesn't seem like there's too much bad going on here. Maybe it's just a matter, save, maybe it's just a matter of. Restarting, Control-C, 
kill this instance again. Ooh, all kinds of errors. Don't know why. Web socket closed. Wow. Um, So oh, we got all kinds of errors in here. Error exception in ASGI application, exception in ASGI ex application. Uh, can I call send? All right, so I'm not going to get into that. Uh, let's see if the command will restart Langflow. Maybe I have to start a new instance every time. That would be annoying. Uh, but maybe that's what I have to do. And we go to 127860. All right, now it's all green. <laughs> so I had to restart in order to get green. That's annoying. All right, so here we go. Let's see if there's anything in the, everything seems okay right now. Um, tell me about Lang flow and, oh, okay. Something's happening. Model GPT-4 does not exist. Model GPT-4 does not exist. Model GPT-4. Okay. So we've got all kinds of errors and then it dies which makes sense, but uh, model GPT-4 does exist, and I do have an API key for it. So what's going on? Thanks for watching, and happy computing.